certainly if you have followed some of the reports we've done over the past uh, 12 to 18 months, you'll know that here in Spain, southern Spain, we've suffered some severe droughts. Really, really bad for wildlife and obviously, especially from our point of view too, for the tortoises who've really suffered because the last two years there's been hardly any vegetation in spring when they emerge from their brumation. It's been really bone dry. Many, many plants, long established plants in some cases, even trees have died because of the lack of water and the extreme temperatures that we have experienced in July and August. Well, <laughs> that's all changed at the moment. This year we are getting some of the heaviest rains that we have had for at least three years. And that is a very good thing from the point of view of the natural vegetation recovery and the wildlife in general, because so much wildlife really depends upon that cycle of renewal of natural vegetation. One interesting aspect of this is what tortoises do when it is cold like this. It's about 11 to 12 degrees here today and raining really heavily. Well, they really shut down pretty much. They certainly are not completely inert. They are reactive and they will bury down just as they do when they are preparing for brumation or estivation, but not usually quite as deep. They usually leave most of the shell exposed, certainly the top part of the shell. What's really interesting though, is that they will often excavate a little area around their head to allow air access. Wet soil, of course, is not very conducive to passing and allowing oxygen and air through. It really blocks it. So it does make sense to have that little air gap around the head as it undoubtedly helps them to continue to breathe normally. One really interesting feature of this habitat and particularly the substrate is that when it's dry, this can be really hard or it can be very sandy and loose. But when it's wet, because it does contain a relatively high, very fine clay content, it's exceptionally heavy and gooey. It really is very sticky. You can probably see here that it really does stick to things. So sandy or hard when wet, but very sticky and muddy indeed when it's as saturated as this. It's also the case that following a period of cold like this, and it has been down to 9, 10, 11, 12 degrees, that's pretty cold, it can warm up very, very quickly again. And within a day, uh, we can be back to temperatures in the high teens and low 20s, which is really the kind of level at which tortoises will be fully active again. That can happen very quickly. And also, quite surprisingly, despite how saturated and how very, very wet and muddy uh, this substrate is, within a few days, it can be so dry that you would have a hard time believing that it had ever rained at all.